Right, folks, from one grumpy old git to two other grumpy old gits, I've got a plea for you. And this is it. Please play Glastonbury. I know you say... Oh, Oasis, by the way, that's the two grumpy old gits. They're not as grumpy as me. They're, they're more known for the grumpiness and fall out with folk and one another. But they're not as grumpy as me. No, but they are grumpy. They are setting their ways. No, no. They've said they're not going to play Glastonbury. There's lots of conjecture that they might. They've said they're not going to. And I think they're the kind of folk that don't go back on what they say on the word. I think they're wrong. I think they must play it. I mean, I don't like you guys. I don't like Oasis at all. I, I, I've never lied about that. Not into it at all. I don't get it. I don't get the hefty ticket prices. I don't get why people would pay them. I don't get why people are pay inflated prices on the resale uh, market. Don't get it at all. But many folk don't agree with me. Many love you. Absolutely loads love you. And there's many in the 50s and 60s who probably worked all their life that are on the bread line now that are struggling because it's hard out there and they can't afford these £150 tickets. They just can't afford them. Whether or not they can, if, if they can't, they're paying for them and not being able to. But many of them aren't getting tickets anyway, so you've got the folk that can't afford them and the millions that have been online this morning trying to get them that can't. And many have gone to unscrupulous folk who are charging double treble and more. Sell your tour out. Sell it out completely. Completely sell it out. But then change your mind. Have a word with old Michael Evis and do Glastonbury. Headline it. For all those folk that can't afford to see you or that, are, or that love you and have wanted to see you and just can't get a ticket. They've waited years and years for you to reform. Don't let them down. It could be the greatest Glastonbury of all time. It won't be in my eyes, but it will be in many other people's. It'll be one that they'll remember absolutely forever. No, you might not get the candy for it that you'll be getting on the rest of your tour. No, of course you won't. But you'll get more exposure than anywhere else. And you'll be seen in different countries. It may ultimately help your profile. It'll certainly give you something for posterity. Please go back on what you say. Sell your tour out. And when it's sold out, have a change of heart and say, go on then, if you can fit us in one of those nights, we'll headline one of those nights at Glastonbury. I think it'll be a massive, massive, massive seller. I think it'll... It'll put Glastonbury even higher profile than it's got now. And it'll do you guys no harm at all. And it'll help loads of people that just can't get to see you or can't afford to see you. Go on. Do the decent thing. Play Glastonbury.